Okay, Killian, here is how you get the uh, document in Word to turn to the margins and the layout that you want it to be. Uh, as you can see, there's a Word document right now, and it is in a uh, vertical, um, what they call a profile, that is uh, portrait. So what I do is I go up here to the tab that says layout and then click on um, orientation and that gives me the option of portrait or landscaping. So I'll click on landscaping and you'll see that the whole document has changed from up and down to side to side. Then to create a half page um, uh, uh, pamphlet or flyer or whatever it is you're trying to hand out, what I do then is go to table and insert a table and I basically want two columns and one row. So there that creates this right here. Then I go back to my home tab, highlight the table and then go up to this box and click on no border so that there, there's nothing showing but you could still see that there's something there and then I'll go inside this table and oop, what I can do is copy and paste the information that you had you had like a picture and some text this is just some greeking and I'll show the insert a picture from file so I'll I don't know if I've got anything here I'll insert that so this is just an example so now I want to take all the information that I've typed up and put it inside this so if I highlight it and then just I should be able to simply take my mouse and drag it and see where my cursor is inside and I've put it inside there inside the table box go up to the uh, format I want to center my text and then I can make the uh, all the text as long as I want and that was just doing the delete. So I've got stuff here. So all I have to do now is to highlight this, control C, come over here, control V, and everything I put in over here on this side is also on this side. If you want to ensure that there's a little bit of extra spacing between these two, you can highlight the column on the right by using your cursor to just highlight that column then go up to the table and click on insert column to the left and that'll put another column in there you can highlight it or unhighlight it and just move these lines over by you by clicking directly on the lines and then using your cursor to drag them over and that way it'll give a little bit more of a spacing in the center for the half page uh, you can also go up to the format document and then reduce the margins to 0.5. Click on mirror margin, whole document, and click OK. Now what's happened here is that everything is skewed up to the left top hand corner. So you can highlight this, uh, the or just drag your cursor across all three columns or cells of the table go up to the layout and click center and then you could go here in in the Microsoft Office mo most current properties and click on that and the table property shows up click center which brings the table to the middle of the whole piece of paper click on cell center and then click OK and then you'll see that it's centered over a little bit better you can also go to the home tab and see I've already done the centering here which puts the text in the pictures so you can add a little space by 
putting your cursor in front of the actual type and text font, you might want to, you know, the the margin over here is still a little bit, uh, it's over half an inch, but maybe a little bit less. You may want to make this column here about an inch wide so that when you actually cut the paper in half right through this part right here, um, the flyer actually centers oops, um, on each half of the page. So that's a real quickie. I hope I didn't go too terribly fast, but that's how you would create a flyer that's two pages in one Word document page.